I'm blending the lye water into the melted oils just until emulsification. If you notice the color of this soap um, is slightly on the greenish mustard side, that's because I'm using a lot of extra virgin olive oil in the soap and also because there is a significant amount of bentonite clay. And I think I'll put the recipe in the comments, so go ahead and look for it there or in the description down below. Um, this is a 12 pound batch, so it's a pretty big batch. And I am soaping fairly hot, so I do expect my soap batter to get thick, but I've worked with this recipe a lot before, and I know it, although it does get thick fast, it never seizes on me, so I'm not too worried about it getting uh, thick. So let's continue on. Okay, I've mixed my two colors and I'm going to pour a little bit of the black soap batter right on top of half of the portion of the white batter and just go ahead and pour randomly in the mold. Um, you can wiggle and squiggle, you can go in any direction you want, it, there's really no rules to this in the pot swirl method. Um, you could all go in one direction, you could do diagonal, vertical, cross-sectionals. And here I give it a little stir. My batter is thickening up very fast, but I'm used to this uh, essential oil blend and I know that it does thicken up fast, but it stays uh, workable still. It doesn't seize or anything, so uh, I felt free to work um, at a comfortable pace. And then I just continue to pour. And remember, this is a 12 pound batch of soap, so um, there there's going to be a few layers to this slab of soap, so it's going to be a surprise when you cut it. It might look cool or chaotic in the mold right now, but once it's cut, it hopefully we're, we're going for a really nice pattern. I'm just finishing up with the pour and I'm gonna try to do a little design on the top that kind of mimics a cosmic swirl or just like a chaotic scene that is hopefully going on within the soap below. So I'm just uh, squiggling back and forth really fast, kind of in a tornado fashion there, um, just to give it a little zig and zag. And I'm also only doing this on the surface. My skewer is just touching the surface. It's hardly digging into the soap at all because I don't want to disturb the pattern below.
24 hours later and I'm steaming the soda ash off with my iron. I put it on the steam setting. And I did allow my soap to go through gel phase, so it did get hot and now it's, you know, solid, obviously. And um, the steaming helps give the top a glossy, shiny look and it does remove some of the soda ash, which I, I like and I like that glossy look. So now I'm going to be cutting my slab into four different loaves of soap and then with each loaf I'm going to be cutting that into six blocks and then um, with each block I will cut on the horizontal plane once so this should give me a total of 48 bars of soap and you will see the process uh, up ahead.